So welcome to another section of the A2 library tutorial series. This particular tutorial is going to focus on how to do some literature search and also um, review. So we have advanced literature search and review with a particular technology known as the open knowledge maps. So when we talk about literature search, um, sometimes we know that we do have some databases that you can go the example, let's say search publications, let's say Taylor and Francis, IEEE, and so forth. But um, so when you go there, you just type um, anything concerning what you want to research about using a keyword. But these databases do populate or um, will give you some results, let's say 2,000 let's say 3,000, let's say 5,000, pertaining to whatever you have searched in that particular search box, pertaining to that database. Now, you are supposed to download these articles. And when you start your review, um, let's say you are doing something pertaining to online exam cheating. We have something that we call thematic areas. That is what we are going to focus on when we come to the review. So it means that you have to go into details, you have to open the articles, then you have to check, okay, so this particular article, if we are talking about uh, online exam cheating, we are saying that these articles really focus on um, motivations behind cheating of students. These articles also focus on some technologies um, that has been established in order to keep or minimize online exams cheating. So you realize that uh, in building up your thematic areas or in reviewing your literature, uh, you are supposed to come out with some of these things. But with the help of uh, Open Knowledge Maps, um, what Open Knowledge Maps does is pretty wonderful. Now, one will ask, what is Open Knowledge Maps? Now, Open Knowledge Maps is a charitable non-profit organization dedicated to dramatically increasing the visibility of scientific knowledge for science and society alike. What makes Open Knowledge Maps exceptional is that Open Knowledge Maps provide instant overview yeah, of a topic by showing the main areas at a glance. So that is what I said previously. Let's say you are doing something on online exam cheating based on those thematic areas. So instead of you, let's say, downloading the article or just going through the article to do that these articles let's say 10 of your articles downloaded is focusing on motivation behind online exam cheating five of your articles is talking about let's say a particular technology facial recognition 20 of your articles is talking about let's say behavioral detection when it comes to cheating detection system so these are some of the uh, thematic areas and we are saying that uh, Open knowledge maps uh, show the main areas at a glance with relevant papers and concepts attached to each area. So we are going to use these open knowledge maps to search for articles. And we are focusing on a thematic area. That is why we said that review, review, yes. Yeah. So when you are reviewing uh, your literature, coming out with thematic areas or the main areas of your research, Open Knowledge Maps is going to do the work easy for you. All right, so let's do some demonstration. So we have, we go online. Um, that's what we have over here. So we have the Open Knowledge Maps. So you can just, it's all about, so we have Google, you type Open Knowledge Maps. Then you click on this one. So that's what we have over here. All right. So if you want to search anything that is more into science, scientific knowledge. So that's when we are going to use the PubMed, life sciences, but all disciplines we are going to use what's the base. So this is the, the search bar that we have over here. So let's say we are going to demonstrate three things you will have, let's say, COVID-19, we will have, let's say, motivation, we will have, let's say, online exams cheating for our demonstration. Then you will see what happens. All right. So we have this. Let's start with um, 
online exams cheating. All right. So that's what um good. So that's what we have over here. But let's search this one first because I want to demonstrate something to you. I think I have searched something on online exam cheating. So I want to show you how this thing works. So let's say um human uh, resource management. All right. So that's so there was a search before the human resource management. Um Let's try this one because I really want to demonstrate to you. Um, let's say unary it's okay. So let me use this UTI unary tract infection. So that one is a pure scientific. So let me say PubMed, United Tract Infection Go. So this is what I wanted to show you. So you realize that um, the knowledge map on United Tract Infection is being created. So you just have to, so it is building the map. Now, what you are seeing is the algorithm working. First, the knowledge map presents you with a topical overview, the search result that will come. So let's wait for the search results. So the knowledge map will present you something. Okay, so we are waiting. Good. So this is what I want. I wanted you to observe. So before we get to this stage, um, I have to show you the progress bar, how the algorithm is working. So the first thing is that um, the knowledge map, that is the open knowledge map, presents you with a topical overview for your search query based on the 100 most relevant documents matching your query. So we have 100 most relevant documents. Now, the second stage is that um, the open knowledge map use text similarity to create the knowledge maps. The algorithm group those documents together that have many ways in common. So the algorithm is grouping these documents together, which will come to that very soon. Now, the third aspect is the, what, the visualization. Now, the visualization is intended to give you a head start on your scholarly search. So we are searching something on what we just did was UTI, United Tract Defection. So um, we have some articles grouped over here. So these, the articles over here talked about, so when, you, when I use my mouse to hover that particular circle, you see those information over there. All right, good. So what do you see over here? Uh, we have the articles being grouped. And at the same time, the visualization is giving you a head start. Let's say the main areas. So you can identify relevant areas at a glance. That is what we are seeing over here. So let's try. So before we move to another thing, um, what we have why is 100 most relevant documents. And also you can also... The document that we have over here, we have some that are open sources or open access. Yes, we have some that are open access. It means that they are available for you to download. However, there are some that you cannot download. It means that you have to subscribe to that particular database. Okay, so you can just filter your search over here. You really want, because you can see that this one is open source. You can click on this for the PDF. All right, this open source for the PDF. This, you can also click on this for the PDF. Okay, yeah. So, but there are some when you move, you realize that so we can all right. So this one is not actually open access. This one is also not an open access. All right. Okay, cool. So we can filter this by clicking on open access. Then it means that whatever result that we have over here will give us the access to download. Now let's move to um Online exams cheating, that is what we searched previously. So we have technologies. Uh, when I hover the mouse, you see facial recognition. This one is saying that the um, iris recognition, anomaly detection in behaviors recognition. We have also, let's check this. 
uh, cheating detection, machine, that is machine learning, and artificial intelligence. This one is also seen um, online, online book training, academic dishonesty, online courses. So it's, it's just giving you some key areas, some main areas when it comes to online exam cheating. And this one is pretty good because it's, it, it's going to help you to come up with um, thematic areas because um, it's giving you an overview because without this, it means that you have to, you download articles first uh, and you go through those articles and you have your open posts and from your open posts, you move to your exia and from the exia, you move to your selective course. Fine, that is pretty good. But this one will just give you a fair idea. And therefore you can use some of these main areas to refine your search so that you can get more articles that is um, that pertain to that particular area or that thematic area. So you can use, let's say, I really want to do a study on online exam cheating. Now I know that, okay, with online exam cheating, when it comes to systems that have been implemented to minimize the prevalence of online exam cheating, we have behaviors recognition. So I can then move on to another database, let's say I triple E, and I'll type online exam cheating, the ovaria detection system or something like that. I can pair these keywords together. I can also do that official recognition. I can also search for online proof training among others. So all these things are open access that we can just click on it and we can get a PDF. That is it. So first you just have to, if you want all fields, if you don't, because the PubMed is uh, science related. So we have the base, we can search for, let's say motivation. All right. So we wait. So we have something over here that is the self-determination theory. Um, we also have decision performances, decision support system motivation. And we have something here that is public service motivation, employee engagement. So you realize that um, Open Knowledge Map just group some articles that it seems uh, it has gotten some something in common and give you a name for it. So we can see that these things that we see over here basically are the main areas uh, pertaining to whatever you want to research into. You can pick some of these things and build upon them. Exactly. That is the most advantage of using the open knowledge maps for your literature search and at the same time, reviewing even your literature. All right. Thank you very much for watching this section of the ATU Library tutorial series. Actually, we have a lot of tutorials for you. So remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel.